What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This video is for anybody who's planning to open an auto repair shop, especially if you're a mechanic and you want to open an auto repair shop, you're done, you cannot take you anymore working for somebody. This video will explain to you what you gonna get into, right? It's not easy to become an entrepreneur, otherwise everybody would do it, it's not easy. And it, gave, it never gets easier. That's another thing. It never. It's always going to be constant worry. Um, the first two years, you're not going to make any money. So don't think like, oh my God, if you stop, if you didn't make money, you're going to make less money than what you used to make as a as a mechanic. Because you probably, if you're trying to open an art per shop, you were one of the top mechanics, and they were paying you good. You're not going to make. But that doesn't mean anything. It's just temporarily. You will make more money than any top mechanic. You'll make not just, you will make double and triple if you know what you're doing. But you need to understand the setup. Number one, if you're trying to open out a per shop, you need VIP shop management. It will set you up for success. If you choose uh, Shop Monkey or Tech Metric or any other one, it will set you up for failure. So let's just get this out of the way. Why? Because it was designed for your situation. So get VIP shop management. But before we talk about that, I need you to understand my mistakes that I made. Because I used to be a mechanic. I was the top of the top. I was like literally joy to watch. Uh, I remember people were watching me because I used to be like a machine. That's how fast my hands were. Anyway, I opened my auto repair shop. My first mistake was I opened a shop that was closed. Don't ever open a shop that was closed because that will take time to rebuild it. I thought me, I'll open the doors and customer will come in. It did not happen. Actually, the previous owner was opening in it and closing it, opening and closing it, where literally they pushed everybody away in the area. And when you open a shop in, in your city, well, the whole city knows who you are, right? And they know the shop, they know their reputation. And they, they, if they know this shop has a bad reputation, and nobody. Only the weirdos is going to come in. Literally, we opened for the weirdos. I couldn't believe it. The lady that screams, oh my God, only do all change. Don't touch anything else. And her car is falling apart. That's what I had to deal with. So the, what was one of my biggest mistakes is opening a shop that was closed. It's a no-no. You can, I'm not saying it can be done, I'm saying you're going to pay the price. I paid the ultimate price for that. Number two, so obviously try to open an exist. If you can buy a shop that's already open, no, that's the best thing ever. Even if it's not doing good, at least it's open. You know this business is bringing money, then yes, do that. If and Otherwise, if you want to open a new shop which has never existed before, and you need to understand that you're not going to make any money. You're going to make less money for the first two years. But that, that's, that's okay, man, because you, you're buying your freedom. You know, being an entrepreneur, it's, it's completely different. It, it, it's you are the boss. What's, what, is the, what does it mean, the freedom? That doesn't mean you can go home and shut down every time you want. I, I've owned a, I own VIP shop management, right? You think I can shut down any time? I literally can't shut down ever. Like people when when they see me like if I'm closed on the weekend I'm not closed I'm never closed. There's so much needs to be done that we have to do behind the scenes, and more than what we need to do when I'm open. Literally, that's part of the uh, being an entrepreneur. That uh, it's a commitment. It's a non-ending commitment. You're never gonna stop, but because you're the one who's doing it, you're okay with it, and the rewards are unlimited. So it's okay. It doesn't really matter. I'm happy to be working on Sunday on my business. I'm happy. Why? Because it gave me the freedom and it gave me the money that I need. And, you know, it puts a smile on my face and it doesn't let anybody control my life. Nobody. But you got to be, you got to have self-discipline. Do not open a business unless you get your self-discipline in order. If you don't have self-discipline, you're going to run out of business. And if you did run out of business, that's okay. Just get yourself disciplined back and, and you know, try again, man. You cannot, you're, you know, it's okay to lose. What's not okay is to quit, right? You know, if you if you tried it and you run out of business, you tried it and you run out of business, 
try again. The area is very important. Like, you know, two shops, right, on the same city, one on the corner, the other one on the side somewhere. It's not the same. It's not, it's unfair game, right? The guys shop on the corner where everybody see them. They gonna come to his shop even if he's the worst mechanic in the history. Understand that point. So location is very important. The only way, the only way, obviously locations like these are already taken. And if you try to buy these locations, they're exp extremely expensive and I promise you he doesn't want to sell it. Because he's making money, he can spit on customers and they'll come back. That's right. I've seen that in my own eyes. Locations on the corner, like of two busy roads, unlimited customers, unlimited different customers at all times. So location is very important. The only way for you to compensate of lo with location, like if you're on the side or, or not on the main road, is you need Google reviews. Google reviews built in with VIP shop management where we can send the automatically to your customers to leave your review once you build your reviews now even his i can beat his location right because people now search and see oh he got three stars and i got five stars or 4.8 so if you're not a in a on a main street your job primarily job is not to advertise now but your google business listing must be over 4.5 must be otherwise you're not going to make it and uh, one of the other tips that you need to understand is don't spend too much money on equipment. Just get the equipment as needed. Another mistake that I made, I tried to make it so pretty and I, you know, because I hate, like, I like the shop to be clean. I like to have nice TV. I like to have nice, all this stuff, which is cool. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying when you, when you're starting a business for the first two years and you're not in a good location and there's not many customers coming into your shop, your primary goal, the customers, your primary goal to make money and uh, VIP shop management will set you up for success to make it easier on you to manage your customer, understand how much you're making money, understand the sales tax, understand all the stuff. So it's definitely a commitment. So do not get into it unless you're ready to do it. But if you did it, if you tried and it did not work, try again, man. Don't quit. I'm telling you, man, freedom is the best thing ever. I would, I, would I go back to being an employee? Not for a million dollars, I wouldn't. Because my freedom, my freedom, whether owning my shop or owning VIP shop management. So it's worth it. But get ready to understand, like learn more about the business side. Just because you're a great mechanic, that doesn't mean you know the business side. Other than that, if you have any questions, just call 248-820-5333, press one, and I'll answer all your questions. Anyway, I appreciate you guys, until next time, thanks for watching, and good luck if you're trying to open your business. I wish you the best. Make sure you get VIP. Thanks for watching.